All right, so I want to do a quick little tutorial on training chamber wall crawl. Um, first thing to note before anything, um, if you come up and hit, or come around here and hit this trigger in any way, um, then war wasps will start to come out of the uh, hives. So I recommend avoiding this area completely, um, as will make the entire trick much easier. So now that I mentioned that. Best way to get over, you have to get over to, there's a little um, spot over here that you can get to. Um, best way to do that is to dash off this hive and bend it up left to land here. Now, you need to land here because this room will not load unless you land here. And you have to get to the other side without falling. So... Um, if you can't, if you're having trouble with that dash or you fail the dash and you land, you like, let's say here, there's a backup. What you can do is you can jump up here along the tree and do an R jump over. Now this jump is, um, pretty difficult. It's something you have to practice in order to get down. Um, but if you can get it down, it's a good backup, uh, just in case. Just in case you end up falling, but... Um, again, as I'm demonstrating right now, it's a little bit, it's pretty difficult. There we go. Um, another backup that you can do is also just jump up here. Go over here like you get, you're getting the, uh, very first missile of the run. And then scan dash over. Very simple. Uh, that one's actually pretty easy. Um... So once you're over here, you have to land on two tree branches. On this one, and on that one right there. So the first one, these branches can be a little bit deceptive in where their standable spots are. With this one, I like to aim slightly to the right. Slightly, very, very, very slightly to the right of where the collision shows. And then for this one, I try not to go too far forward. Oh, well, probably should have gone a little bit further forward. We'll try that again. So, slightly to the right. There we go. And then, you're going to want to try to jump up on that um, block there. Jump up again, while slightly holding forward towards the end. And then, try to land on top. So, once you've landed on top, you're going to want to jump over here. Now, I kind of moved myself a little bit. I kind of turned. That way, I would get a little more speed, because of the speed cap in this game. If you fall around here, you can actually start bomb jumping your way up. It's a little tricky, um, but you'll you'll be able to figure it out. So from here, you wanna jump and land on this pipe. Now, when you're going forward here, you wanna wait, you wanna see that the map transitions. Um, this tells you that you've moved on to the next room. You don't want to jump off this pipe early and be in the in the ether over here and not um, be able to get back here if you have to. Make sure you get this right. So once it changes, you can actually... So, whoops, let's go back. Once it changes, you want to jump over to the right. And now I'm in the game... And now I'm in the box for this room. From here, you got one, two, three, four, five. The six pistol... Or I should say the second pistol from this side, right here. You want to try to land slightly to the left of it. Now, if you just hold forward completely and try to go in, you're going to get stuck. So you kind of want to go halfway along the control stick. Not too slow to where you don't make it, but not too fast to where you get stuck. Um, this is another thing that's also going to take some time. So... See, like, that was a little bit too fast. So all I'm going to do is just, you don't want to morph. You do not want to morph there. What you want to do is you want to turn the direction you need to move and just hold right. And so let me fix that. There we go. Okay, I fell, but the load trigger is right about here. So if you fall here, 
There is a way to recover. Unfortunately, it's not fun. You have to do ether jumping. So basically, um, every room in the game is surrounded by an invisible box. And so this box is normal collision, but where I'm standing right now is ether, where you're slowly, slowly going back up. But if you go into the box and then jump, you get what's called an ether jump, like that. However, that's a three frame window. If you don't get it with, if you don't press B within that three frames, you're gonna fall all the way down and have to try again. Luckily, you only have to get it twice. So from here, when that opens up, that is telling you that this room is loading. You can even see it too. So you're just gonna walk forward and then transition the room. When you jump, you're kind of gonna hit your head. So when you jump, you wanna hold back a bit and then forward and land. Same thing for the second one. And then for the third jump, you're gonna jump here on this pipe. Now, this entire thing is standable. Entire thing is standable. So you, all you need to do is just jump over here, your next goal is to jump over here because there is a load trigger right there that you need that you should that you need to hit. All right, so it's in the corner over here. Jump over here, standable spots along this edge. Try not to get stuck there; it's a pain. And once you land here, um, there's a door on that or to the left here. They just want to, whoops, they just want to jump to. And then go to the right now, or to the left. Now, if you, um, if here the door is loaded, see how the room's loaded? Um, that means I hit the trigger. If you miss the trigger, what you can do is just shoot the door. So let's say I shot the door, I jump on its side, and that loads the room on its own. But since I shot the door, or I hit the load trigger, I don't need to do that. So... You jump up and land. And then from here, you jump and land. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to bomb jump while holding forward. Um, and then Samus is going to dip a little bit into the ceiling. When you see that, press uh, X to unmorph and then you're done. So, like that. And there's training chamber wall crawl. My recommendation with this wall crawl is it does not, it's not a hard one, but it only, it does not save a lot of time either. So I recommend learning it first and then putting it in runs when you feel like you need the time save. Uh, that's my recommendation um, overall. Learn this whenever you feel like you're comfortable with it. It's a good trick. It's a fun trick. Um, yeah. Oh, make sure, one last thing, make sure you're not up against the spider track like this when you try to go up because you're going to get stuck because the room's collision is weird. Morph over here before going up. So if you're ever wondering why you're stuck, uh, the room's collision is a little weird. So again, if you try to do that, you're going to be stuck and really not too much you can do about that. I mean, you could do this anyway. Um, yeah, that's it.